There's no other way. One, 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 two, three problems you'll struggle. Later on, you'll start enjoying things. You'll get a confidence. You'll get a confidence. Then, then you'll manage things on your own. Yeah? Okay, I brought some two simple problems. I have I have kept a frame like this, uh, a frame ABCD with one of its edge along the principal axis. It's placed nearby a concave mirror. Draw the shape of the image. <coughs> it is a principal axis. There's a principal axis. Now you know, uh, like. This will be uh, AB is one extended object, DE is one extended object, and A is longitudinal one, longitudinal magnification. So this will be the object length along the axis. This will be the uh, normal to the axis. So here we use transverse magnification. Here, longitudinal magnification. So with the help of those ideas only, now we should be able to make a guess of the possible shape of that one. Now, if object if object is between C and F, where the image should be, the corresponding image I'll show by <coughs> a red color. So corresponding to E, this will be E. Then this one. Then, then this one. So th this is the image, real image. Uh, how the curve, so next again, the curvature, I'm going to put like this. It will be a curved one. Not straight line. It should be a curved one. So this will be correspond for E dash, D dash. Uh, this will be A dash, and this will be B dash. Uh, now you can ask question. Okay, for, fine. Uh, the, if object is between C and F, so what, what do we expect? Image will be real, magnified, and inverted. There's no problem with the AB. Uh, why, why I should show AB length more than that one? Because if object is near to, as as if object is here at center of curvature, where the image will be at, at center of curvature. As you move away, what will happen to the magnification of the image will increase. So the AB will have more magnification than DE. So AB will have more magnification than DE. Uh, any, anything length S, this AE should be equal to, is not equal to AE dash. This length should be greater than this one. Longitudinal magnification will be there. Uh, why, why not this straight line? Why it should be curved? Okay, let's, let's take the, the mathematics here. So one by V plus one by U equal to one by F. So th this is the X coordinate, like, like we'll write it X naught or XI, or X I'll write it X naught one by F. I'm applying the sign convention. So towards left, it should be post, you know, somewhere X coordinate, somewhere some point here I'll pick up. Then it's also having Y coordinate. So magnification is given by V by U. So this will be X I, okay, X, minus x minus x naught then what about y y should be equal to m into y naught m is how much A m will be minus of x by x naught Okay, look at the, the value of y. 
the value of y. So th this x, I'll, I'll, I can eliminate x naught or this one. So I'll, I'll eliminate x that one. So from the, that equation, further let me bring it. So this will be one by x is equal to So x by x naught, what we can write it as. X by x naught, I can write it as. Minus of f minus x naught, y naught. Okay, look at how, how y will vary. For, for different values of x naught, x naught, where is, where is the x naught from where, where I should bring the x naught, x naught is this one. No? X naught is this one. This is x naught. What about y naught? Y naught is here. So for, as you increase x naught, so what happened to the corresponding value of y? So all points, all points on this frame. See, we are, we are more bothered about this, why this curvature. That's what I'm trying to explain with this help of this mathematical equation. So for different values of x naught, the y naught is constant. Okay, there's no problem. But as, as, as you increase x naught, this one. So as you increase x naught, this will become lower value. This will become lower value. So what is the value of y? y will keep on increase. So the value of y should increase. Say so the y negative sign, the negative sign indicates y is measured below the principal axis here. Fine, so the, the equation here will help us to <coughs> predict that particular variation. As we increase x naught, the f minus x naught value is going to decrease. As you're going to increase x naught, the f minus x naught value is going to decrease. X naught value is going to this one, this will decrease. So y value will increase. So therefore the y value will be increasing. Okay, this is what. The y. Okay, these are the some things which you have to remember. Huh? Possibility of asking some mass based conditions here. Okay, let's take the next one. A particle revolves in a circular path of radius R1 with a linear speed V1. About a center A, find the linear speed of image formed by a convex concave mirror. Okay, where is the object? Object is it? <coughs> it is moving in a plane. So now, uh, what is the plane of circle? The plane of circle will be perpendicular to axis here. So how the principal axis? One more condition. Plane of circle is normal to the axis. So the particle is revolving here. So no, no, just, just bother like that. So if a object is at a distance three F by two. So from mirror formula, V plus towards right, it will be positive. So this will become one by V. 2 by 3f minus f. So v should be equal to <coughs> minus of 3f, I'll get it. So where the image, the, the image will be located somewhere here. So the, the, the corresponding to b will write it. Then from the magnification formula, minus of v by u minus 3f 
magnification is equal to how much minus 2 then radius of the image will be m into r1 minus 2 this r1 minus 2 r1 so here the particle now is going to the image is going to revolve in a circular path of larger radius Okay, what is the radius? This will be R2. Uh, what will be the angular velocity of this? The angular velocity of this will be U0. Linear speed is U0, no? Okay, with a linear speed U0. I'll, I'll make some changes. So in, in circular motion, go, go, go back to the idea. So suppose if there's a particle revolving in a circular path of radius r1 with a speed u0 so what is the linear speed is equal to r1 into angular velocity the particle is having here angular velocity omega. it is going to have the same angular velocity so what is the linear speed is asking so u0 linear speed should be equal to r1 into radius vector into angular speed Similarly, the linear speed of the image should be equal to R2 into omega. Do we know omega? We don't know. So R2 by R1, omega, mm -hmm. omega will be U0 by R1. What is R2 by R1? That it's only magnitude. So 2 U0. Now, what do you mean by negative sign? Actually, the negative sign, when, when object is here, its corresponding image will be here. When, when object is below the principal axis, the image will be above the principal axis. So what is the linear speed of the image? Will be twice of linear speed of image. Okay, th this is our answer. Oh. <laughs> Let me, yeah, fine, yeah. And this is our answer.